about 20 hours ago, I uh, uh, placed into my processing, uh, blending processing tank, uh, 10 gal 15 gallons of uh, waste motor oil. And I added to that, actually it was 16 gallons of waste motor oil I, I put into my blending tank. And to that I added four gallons of gasoline, waste gasoline that I had used previously to filter my filters with, my uh, back flush my filters um, to regenerate them. So once I've regenerated my filters with clean gasoline, then I put it into my blending tank uh, and blend it with whatever waste oil I have. And uh, most of the time I blend with uh, waste vegetable oil because I prefer the smell and and the ethics behind burning vegetable oil but occasionally I'll blend with motor oil because some people do it and I want to understand how to do it so uh, so anyway I have 16 gallons of waste motor oil in this uh, 20 gallon processing tank and I put four gallons of gasoline on top of it and I let it sit for 20 hours and so now this morning first thing before moving my van, uh, I will drain off the sludge so you'll get a chance to see what the sludge looks like. As you can see this is my at the bottom of my 20 gallon processing tank and I have a valve right here that I'm going to open up and I'm going to drain the sludge out into this container and you'll be able to see, you should see a fairly thick sludge at first so let's see what we get. So I'm opening the valve slowly and oh it's actually fairly thin coming out at first I'm surprised now it's coming out thick and dark typically it takes maybe a gallon or two will be drained off so I'm going to drain off two gallons oh boy <clears throat> good to have a slot bucket here. That bit of clear that came out at first probably was stuck in the valve and left from me black back flushing my tank. So it's still coming out pretty thick and dark. This will be the second half gallon or second two liter container. This is the third half gallon container of sludge being extracted from my blend of 20% gasoline to 80% waste motor oil. Now as you can see it's coming out thick pretty much like motor oil but eventually it should start running uh, thin and I usually keep draining until it starts running thin. This is the sixth container of sludge that I'm draining off from the bottom of the tank. And it's still coming out pretty thick. This is the seventh container of sludge being drained off from the bottom of the tank. This is the eighth half gallon container of waste or sludge being drained off the bottom of my tank. It seems to be getting thinner, but it's still roughly the consistency of motor oil, which means there's got to be much thinner stock above. And this is the ninth half gallon container of waste motor oil drain from the bottom of my blending tank. These three samples represent uh, the three stages of, of precipitation of sediments in a uh, waste motor oil or black diesel blend of fuel. Uh, the first stage basically these are, represent three days of, of uh, sediment and how I remove the sediments from my 
waste oil blends is I'll uh, maybe uh, drain the sediments once a day and uh, so this will be the first day of sediment and uh, you'll be able to see uh, that uh, it, there's a fair amount of sediment at the bottom and it represents about 10 percent of the total volume. On the second day uh, there will be about half as much sediment uh, accumulated at the bottom of the blending tank and this is what it looks like. It's about half as much as uh, what was in the other bottle. There we go. So the, this one is the first day and this is about half as much and it is the second day of sediment. And then on the third day about this much precipitates out which is about half again as much and then after filtering I might uh, extract a jar and let it sit for a week and if you see nothing but a dark ring at the bottom then you've done a good job of filtering your waste oil blend fuel. These are the four stages of sediment production represented by the four bottles the one on the far left is the first day of sediments extracted. The next one to the right is the second day of sediment extraction. The third one from the left is the third day of sediment extraction. And the one on the far right is uh, a sample container of waste oil that had been filtered and left no sediments at the bottom of the container.